kids nowadays grow up so fast and they're so smart and they have, they're equipped with everything. So I think that it's also, I would say, the responsibility of the society to kind of pivot as well. And I know that Hong Kong has been trying to promote this creativity or this arts culture or this kind of creative culture as you will. But I think that maybe it's a lot of wasted efforts because it's not really that applicable to a lot of scenarios. And I think that Hong Kong definitely has a lot of potential to be at the forefront of this. I mean, you look at Singapore, which is kind of similar to us, but they're way more open-minded than us. And you look at China, it's like they're in a paperless society already. And why is Hong Kong still not there? There's a lot of things that I think that, you know, as a team, instead of being so angry with everything, that actually, if you think positively, there are ways out of the system and there's ways out of the matrix. And I think that I would like to participate in really kind of pushing this movement or contribute whatever that I can, my time or my effort or my resources. And I know that there's a lot of people like me that are also doing things that want to give back, but they don't know how to give back. So this is kind of the beginning of maybe a movement for the millennials. The other day I was talking to somebody and then this has something to do with China. And they were like, it doesn't even matter what you do. As long as you're the first person to do it, then you're number one. And I was like, what does that really mean? And it's like, because China is so big, you can, you just have to be the number one of one thing and you can already be successful. And that can be like, you know, say you make toilets or you make stationery or you make whatever it is. As long as you're the first person to do it, you're winning. So I think the, the key or the cheat code for me is to get started as soon as you can. For me, I think it's important that you write everything down and get organized yourself. Because if you can't even sell it to yourself or sell it to your family or sell it to people that you're close to and they don't understand what you're talking about, it might be hard for anyone to understand what you're talking about. So I think the first thing is just get organized, you know, put your thoughts onto paper and it doesn't have to be like you have to finish it in a day. This idea, because you know, for me or for, uh, I mean, I don't know if I can't, I can't speak for everyone else, but I have a thousand ideas in a day. And if the idea keeps on popping up in my head a week later, a month later, and I still think of this idea, then I start thinking, hey, maybe I'm onto something. And then you start developing your idea and you start developing it and get more people to buy in. And that's how you get started. I think. In the beginning, even though you have a great story to tell, I think a lot of people don't really care. And it's, you know, things take time. And this is one thing that I think that it's hard for people growing up in this generation to understand is that, you know, with the Instagram generation, it's instant gratification. You post a photo, you get likes or you do something and you it happens right away. But for what they don't really understand is that for every one thing that happens, that person might have been doing it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years without them even really knowing that that's just one photo or one post, you know? So I think that it's important to put in the hours and, you know, it sounds really kind of old school, but you, you really have to pay your dues. To make a successful pitch, you really got to believe it yourself. And if you don't believe the idea yourself, how is anyone else supposed to believe your pitch? So I think in that aspect, you really just have to, you know, obviously don't make it too complicated because people don't have the patience or the bandwidth to listen to it. So keep it really short and concise. So my pitch is, I want to do a video game or my pitch is I want to make a selfie light or something like that, that, you know, is easy for people to understand. Cause even for me now, sometimes when I tell people what I do, they don't really understand. Right. So, um, I, I would just say, you know, first of all, you'd have to believe in the pitch yourself and just keep it short and sweet.